Hi everyone, today we will discuss microbial nutrients uptake. How microbial cells, they are going to take up the nutrients from the environment. This is the process we are going to discuss. We will discuss what are the different, different mechanisms associated with the microbial nutrients uptake. Let's start by seeing the structure of the microbial cell. We know that microbial cell is made up of a complex cell wall it has that outer cell cell wall which is made up of lipid molecules it is made up of peptidoglycan so you have a complex structure that is blocking those nutrients coming from the outside to inside of the cell so this is the structure where i'm showing in red color you have some kind of proteins and then you want to move the nutrient molecules from the outside towards the inside and for that the nutrient molecule should pass that particular barrier as you, case, as you can see in this case from outside to the inside of the cell and now there are few points regarding the microbial nutrients one is microbes needs new microbes need nutrient for their survival not only microbes everyone all cell types they need the nutrients for their survival next microbes they also need specific compounds so the need the requirement for those compounds vary so there there will be a different type of mechanism for every kind of nutrient next there there must be some unwanted stuff that is getting generated inside the cell and that should move from inside to outside so there should be some kind of mechanism associated with that We'll discuss all those mechanisms. First, we have to understand that what is the environmental condition where microbe is surviving. Obviously, microbe will be living in a nutrient poor condition, or I can say that nutrient poor condition is present in the environment, but inside the microbe, the nutrient rich condition will be there. So most of the time, bacteria will be utilizing the nutrients and outside bacteria uh, must have their nutrient poor condition and now those molecules should move from nutrient poor condition to the nutrient rich condition or i can say higher to lower uh, concentration in other case maybe microbe is living in a higher uh, concentration of the nutrients in that case from higher to lower which will be very very easy so nutrient in most of the cases should follow the concentration follow against the concentration gradient that means from lower to higher and next they must pass the plasma membrane that we have discussed the structure already right so the plasma membrane or uh, the cell wall of the bacteria is going to have that blocking effect so they must pass that particular barrier so to, to do that there must be some transportation mechanisms and that's why i'm writing here transport mechanism so we'll discuss the major three transportation mechanisms first one is the diffusion second one so diffusion is just simple diffusion of the molecule from higher concentration to the lower concentration second one is the facilitated diffusion where the diff diffusion is happening but in the presence of carrier proteins third active transport where you require a lot of energy to move molecules from one place to another so we'll discuss these processes in detail i have already told you that molecule will be moving from higher concentration to lower concentration by simply the process of diffusion An example is for example water second you have oxygen molecule so these are the molecules that are following this particular mechanism next you have carrier proteins for the facilitated diffusion example of this carrier protein is permeases or major intrinsic proteins these are the proteins that are taking the nutrients via the facilitated diffusion inside the cell and next you have the active transport mechanism which works against the concentration gradient most of the time and you have that particular mechanism in place where a lot of energy is being used so energy is required in this case outside the concentration should be low and inside the concentration should be higher so you are following the uh, so you're following against the concentration gradient 
the example for these transporters are the ABC transporters of the cell. So this was the just basic dis description of the microbial nutrient uptake. We have discussed what is diffusion. We have discussed the facilitated diffusion. We have discussed the active transport. We have tried to understand that uh, by taking the example of the microbial cell, there is this cell wall, the plasma membrane that nutrient needs to, uh, nutrients need to pass. And there are defined mechanisms in place that with the help of those mechanisms, these nutrients, they are going to pass from the outside to the inside. So depending upon the concentration of the nutrient, they are going to follow the, the particular mechanism. Depending upon the type of the nutrient, they are going to follow the particular pattern or the particular mechanism. So I hope that video was helpful for you to understand the microbial nutrient uptake. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care.